You are strong, you are beautiful, you are perfect. Welcome to the show for, by, and about women. I'm your host, Shawanda Harvey. Many of you have read my book, Eve Stands Alone. In this book, I try to encourage women to be strong, independent, and unencumbered by the fetters of a man's world. Today, my guests are two women that say that my book has changed their lives. Let's welcome, from the New City Dance Ensemble, Kiana. Go on, girl. Go on, girl. All right, all right. And prominent artist, Lavonia Bethune. Kiana, you are strong, you are beautiful, you are perfect. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. How has my book changed your life? Shawanda, mm -hmm. when I first became interested in dance, mm -hmm. the male entity that I was dwelling with, mm -hmm. he didn't support me. Go on, girl. Girl, he tried to trivialize my womanly creativity. No. <laughs> yes, he did. Mm -mm -mm. But your book, your book showed me that I did not need a man to Ava. validate me. Go on, girl. Go on, girl. Go on. Go on. Go on. Oh. I'm gone. Lavonia, you are strong. You are perfect. What about beautiful? Oh, of course you're beautiful. <laughs> Don't you have a similar story? Oh, I most certainly do. Mm -hmm. Do you know that when I wanted to take art lessons, mm -hmm. my significant other was too cheap to pay for? Mm -hmm. Typical, sister, mm -hmm. typical. And then he used to have this line he would say to me, a woman is as sweet as honey as long so as she, she don't, don't want, want no money. money. Yeah. My significant other used to say the same thing to me. Girl, mm. go on. Then he tried to make it up to me by buying me this cheap fake African necklace. Hey, you know I used to have a necklace just like that. No. Yeah, girl. But I showed him that he wasn't nearly as significant as he thought he oh, was. Go on, 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 my man took art lessons. Mm -hmm. He came home with all these new drawings. Mm -hmm. Talk about he don't need no new model to draw. Gone. I look like a fool to you? Not to me. No. Do I look like a fool? You're not my sister. Girl. You talk about up and coming? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't trust my Umbatu as far as I can throw him. Mm -mm. Umbatu? Umbatu! That's my man's name. Oh, oh. Sister, sister. Oh, no, sister, you know how art is. You can't art tell. nothing. I recognize her big butt anywhere. Oh. Big butt, honey. At least I've got one. A man's got to have something to hold is on to. Is that so? Remember, go on, girl. You better go, go on. on. And speaking of something to hold on yes. to, he better not try holding on to that fake hair of yours. Go on, girl. Oh, see, now you need to take your flat behind, no dancing, wanna be on Soul Train or Africa, so that's a magnet, whatever that sounds, you all That's so! Right. That's that right. That's right. That's right. Sister, 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 you are fighting over a man. You don't need that. Remember, Eve stands alone. Let's tell her. All right. Well, now, all together. Go on, girl. Go on, girl. Go on, girl. That's it today for Gone Girl, the show by, for, and about women. Didn't you lose on Star Search? <laughs> okay, this is Station One, the Shape Machine. Oh, well, yeah, see, I got experience in this. Because I used to work over at Think God is Yogurt. Good. So you know what to do, so do it. Right, exactly, because I'm here, you know, to make your job better. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's about us. Mm -hmm. It's all about us. Mm -hmm. My name is Chillin'. How you doing? A lot of my friends call me Charles, but they call me Chillin' too, mostly, because that's what I do mostly is chill. Uh-huh. Well, uh, that's cool and everything. I'm sure your parents are proud. But uh, what I need right now is two strawberries and one raspberry shake. And don't get the cups mixed up, OK? Oh, that ain't nothing, see, because I've got this. It's about us. Mm. Miss? I asked for a cheese dog, not a chili cheeseburger. So? So I want a cheese dog. Ah, uh, so you want me to do something about that? <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Thank you for coming.
Prince of Boss Big Wayne. You will come again, all right? Yeah, yeah, uh. Yeah, see, I was working over at Me Car Russ the other day. Mm-hmm. But you know, something had went down, right? A friend of mine, Larry, came to visit me, right? He always come to my job, give me encouragement. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So after he left, my supervisor come to me, talking about something. Talking about something. Let's go for a walk. You know what I'm saying? Then they gonna say Larry is in connection with some T-bone steaks that came up missing. You know what I'm saying, how you gonna blame Larry? All right, so what? His car was parked out back, and it was the only one with the trunk popped. So what? You gonna blame that on him? That's wrong. So I, that was stepping on my professionalism. I got on out of there, man. Uh huh. That's cool and everything, and I'm sure they will do a mini series about it. But what I want to know right now is where are the shakes? Oh, that's done. I, I, I thought you said you knew what you was doing. I thought you said you had experience. Well, see, what I got experience in is chocolate and vanilla. You see what I'm saying? As you can see, you got strawberry, raspberry, and blueberry. I ain't got no experience on birds. You, you got to train me correctly if you want me to do my job. Just move. I'll do it. Do you know how to flip burgers? Oh, yeah, I can flip some burgers. See, because I used to work over at Chili and Waffles on uh-huh. 3rd and Wallaby. Uh-huh. So I know all uh, about the Yeah, burgers. that's cool and everything. I am sure that your story is so moving that it would make me want to marry you. have four ugly kids and name them all Larry. But all you got to do right now the burgers and make sure they don't burn, all right? Hey, don't worry. I'm here to make your job easy. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Just about us. You know, it's a cooperative thing. Mm-hmm. You know, chili waffles, boom. Look at this. See? Cat ass. See that? You know? Boom. Cat ass. Boom. See this experience? See how to flip that? Look at Cat ass. That's experience, see? Cause I used to work, I used to work over at Chili Waffles, but I had got fired right over some old bull. You know what I'm saying? But then I was working at Lou's used car, and something went down. My friend Larry had showed up, right? And so later on, after Larry had left, my supervisor come up to me, come on, let's take a walk. You know what I'm saying? He gonna connect Larry to a 1982 El Dorado that come up missing. You know what I'm saying? He gonna blame Larry for that. That ain't right. That's stepping on my professionalism. You know what I'm saying? Simple as that. Look at this. These hamburgers are ruined. Uh, yeah, well... No, you know what? I am sick of you. What is your problem? Why come you can't do this? Well, because... See, you got to look at the dynamics of this grill. You see what I'm saying? This is a flat grill. See, I'm used to a char broad grill. You see what I'm saying? I'm used to putting black stripes on a hamburger. Hold on a minute. I will be with you. Honk again here. See, don't you get these fries in your face? Come here, because I am just getting mad at you. So far, you have done nothing right. All right? Well, look, I'm ready to do this. All you have to do is wrap the burgers, put them in a bag, and give them to the customers. Okay? Oh, see, that ain't nothing, see, because I got experience in packaging. Because mm-hmm. I used to work at Derek's Devilish Hot Dog. Uh-huh. Packaging all day. You, you, you got all that experience, huh? Well, Mr. Experience, if you were so good at our Derek's Devilish Dogs, how come you ain't there now? Well, cuz, well, something had went down, right, Larry? Uh-huh, uh-huh, I'm with you and your boy Larry, right? Nah, nah, actually, Larry was locked up. His brother Sherman uh-huh. came over here. Uh, well, just shut up and do this. Dad, don't you ever stop talking? <laughs> we ain't gonna be all that. Yo, what's up, chilling? What's up, Larry? Uh-huh. What's up, boy, you hungry? Hey, man, what's up? Boy? What's up, man, chilling? You, you know what's up, man? Well, Excuse me. Excuse Only me. people in cars are supposed to come to the drive the window. Oh, see, you straight up wrong. See, you don't even know what's up. Larry caught the bus over here. Mm. What are you supposed to add the bus to come through the drive through? You know the bus too big. <laughs> Look, my elder is in the shop, so why you sweating me, girl? Uh, I'm sure that this is all a really moving story, and I'm have to make sure to remember to tell my grandchildren. But what I want to know is why come you got all this food? Hey, look, are you Bob's big weenie? Excuse me? He said, are you Bob's big weenie? No. All right, then, this is A and B. See ya. So, man, is this going to work out for you, man? I think this is going to work out fine. Right, you know me, Larry, because all I do oh, is tip. That's what I'm saying. Little burgers, burgers, little yeah. rap. Because, see, I want that one right over. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> you are stealing food. I caught you red-handed. You're fired. What's up with him? Oh, see, he don't even know how to find nobody. You see what I'm saying? He ain't take me for no walk. <laughs> That's messing with my professionalism. You know what I'm saying? That's all right, because I got an application over there. Casa de B. Wow. Yeah. That's all right. You are strong, you are invincible, you are woman. 
Welcome once again to the show by, for, and about women. Go, All right. I'm your host, Shawanda Harvey. Today's show is going to be a little different. For the first time, we're going to have men on Gone Girl. Now hold on, sisters. These aren't your typical worthless males. They're sensitive outcasts from their gender. Let's have a big go on boy for Gregory Miller and Lionel Baker. All right. You two are a rare breed of men, almost worthy of sharing this earth with us. All right. Gregory, you wrote the book, The Man Who Hates Men Who Hate Women. Tell me, who are these men you hate? Well, Shawanda, you know the type. The type of man that picks up a woman, sleeps with her, mm -hmm. and then splits around 2 a.m. Go on. Go on. All right. I figure, you know, why split? Stick around, get some breakfast or something. Breakfast? I mean, of course, I'd be cooking. Shawanda, I don't know what kind of game this guy is trying to play, but I think men who have sex without commitment are animals. <laughs> Commitment, right. I wasn't even thinking. You know, sometimes I need a woman stronger than myself to get me back on the right track. Oh, I'm strong like that. Fine, but a woman shouldn't have to lead a man around by the... A man should take it upon himself to wash the dishes, do the laundry, and the vacuuming, if need be. That's the kind of man I like. Well... How do you feel about a man who takes care of children? Oh, yes. There's something about a man holding dirty diapers in his hands. Mm hmm Makes you just weak in the knees. Takes well, care of the children? Excuse me? I want to have the children. As you can see in my book, she's having my baby. Why can't I? I just want to have a baby so badly. I want to experience it the natural way. I'm sorry, Shawana. I didn't mean to get Let it emotional go. on the Let it go. It's just that when I think about the beauty mm -hmm. of holding a baby against your breast, mm -hmm. all swelled with milk, mm -hmm. and then I'll never know that kind of joy. Oh, go on. Breast swelled with milk? What a mm -hmm. wuss. Excuse me? Oh, don't let him get to you, Lionel. There's nothing at all wrong with having a highly developed feminine sensibility. Why, some of my best friends are... Shut up. I'm no wuss, man. Oh, yeah? Prove it. Oh, yeah. Last month, I... I slept with ten women. Oh. Something to be proud of? It sure isn't. That's an easy afternoon for me, buddy. Oh, no. Yeah, well, I guess it takes a little longer to get from job to job when you're moving heavy equipment. Oh, yeah? Yeah! at all sensitive. You're as bad as all the rest. I mean, really. We got books to sell. Yeah, boy. Shut up. Girlfriends, there you have it. Now we know what they really think and what they think with. Uh-huh. I make you this promise. No more men on Gone Girl. Yeah, you love it. <laughs> Hello, my name is LaShawn, and I will be your tour guide for the Native American art exhibit. The rules are as follows. Pay attention, because I only say things once, so don't be talking while I'm talking. Or uh, better yet, just don't say nothing. Now, we will get started as soon as the rest of us get here. I'm so sorry. I was just admiring a beautiful piece of work back there. Did you realize that the Cherokee Indians uh -huh. never even... Look, I'm sure you came here with a wealth of information to share with us today. But uh, if you don't mind, your trip to Little Bighorn is not on my schedule. Uh, can we move right along? Uh, this was done in 1894 by the artist Running Feather. You know, actually, I'm very well acquainted with her work. She didn't pick up a paintbrush until she was 57 years My old. Uh, I could be wrong, but last time I checked, I was working alone. Uh, now, if you feel that you can enrich the lives of this tour group so much, you could just go back downstairs and fill out an application. Okay, can we please move on? Whoa, what's this? Are you blind? It's a bow and arrow. Uh, uh, excuse me? Did you see a sign that said you could...
you gonna take some pictures? Well, I was just taking... Just answer the question. I was, I was just taking pictures for my wife. Me and my wife, you know, we met at a museum. Oh, oh that is beautiful and romantic. And I'm sure that Chuck Woolery would be very touched to hear your story. But since we don't care about you or your wife, do you care to join us on the tour? <laughs> oh, oh, no, you don't come in here with that. Does this look like your home? Do you see rats and roaches and an eviction sign somewhere? <laughs> Buff and Joe, they're the project. There you go. I'm so sorry. They're usually very well behaved children. They're just mm -hmm. a little mischievous, mm -hmm. like their mom. Mm -hmm. uh, well, that's, that is so hard, woman, that it makes me want to run out and get pregnant and go through nine hours of labor just so I can know what you're talking about. But um, if your little angels are so well behaved, why come they running around here like they had a special at Kmart or something? <laughs> Oh my God, come on, children, let's get out of here. I don't even want you around somebody with such a funky attitude. Oh no, because I will snatch you and your kids. <laughs> hey, can, can, can we get on with this? Excuse me, but for your information, my name is not Hey. If you can read, the name text says LaShawn. If you have a problem with that, see my supervisor. And if you're looking for some Hey, I suggest you go check the stable. <laughs> Look at this artwork. The texture is just so lifelike. Wow, it's amazing how they make this in such detail. And just what are you doing? Oh, I'm just trying to get a better feel of the texture. This is an incredible piece of work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that's cool and everything. I'm sure that scientists from all over the world are just dying to come over here and do research on your incredible sense of touch. But um, <laughs> as far as our policy goes here, uh, nice to look at, nice to hold. If you break it, consider it soul. <laughs> now, on the next part of the tour, you're going to be seeing some Hope and Native American art, um, basic pottery, everyday hunting tools, religious art, artifacts, all from sacred burial grounds that are approximately 400 years old. Wow. That's great. I can't wait to see that. Me neither. Mm -hmm. Well, you're going to have to because it's time for my lunch break. And uh, if you care to wait, I'll be back in 35 minutes. And if not, have a nice day. <laughs> You are strong, you are beautiful, you are perfect. Welcome once again to the show by, for, and about women. Go on, girl! <laughs> All right. I'm your host, Shawanda Harvey. Tonight, we're pitting the independent women of the 90s against the traditional homemaker of the past. Please welcome the very motherly Mrs. George Bush. Go on, girl! All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Please call me Barbara, Shanaqua. Uh, please call me Shawanda, Barbara. <laughs> hmm? Girl, you are sound, you are strong, you are a shining example of womanhood. Oh, thank you, Shataki. <laughs> Incidentally, uh, I brought you something. An apple pie that I baked myself. Mm. Go on, girl. <laughs> My next guest is the very independent Miss Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Girl, you are bold, you are bad, you are beautiful. Welcome, sister. Thank you, Shawanda. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm sorry I didn't bring anything, what? but I'm a partner in a very prestigious law firm, and I don't sit around the house baking cookies all day. Oh. <laughs> well, Shenandoah, I'm not going to uh, apologize, really, for believing that being a mother was more important than pursuing some personal, rather selfish career goals. Oh, well, she does have a point. Perhaps I should stay at home and make sure that my children don't grow up and become savings and loan crooks. <laughs> or adulterers. Excuse me? Uh, well, uh, sister, they say that this horny Gomer Pyle husband of yours did go off and sleep with that other woman. Yeah, that's never been proved. I mean, I know my bill. Who doesn't? <laughs> I trust him. And I could care less about some allegations made by a desperate woman. Mm -hmm. In fact, it means so little to me, I can't even remember this woman's name. Mm. I believe it was Jennifer Flowers. <laughs> <laughs> I hold no grudges against her. Mm. I just want to become first lady so I can become more involved in the social issues. Mm -hmm. I mean, in fact, I've already started a new support group. It's called Mothers Against Sluts. Well, <laughs> this sister is dedicated. This sister is daring. This sister is drinking. <laughs> about the affair her husband had. Oh. <laughs> well, my goodness. Shaka Zulu, that was never 
That was never confirmed at all. It was not proven. It was an allegation made by some very jealous people. What do you expect? Your husband used to run the CIA. I mean, if he can hide missiles under the Ayatollah, he can sure as hell hide a few pairs of nasty boxers. <laughs> sisters, sisters, please. Now, you are better than this. You are proud. You are persevering. Girl, you a pig. <laughs> You can't really blame her. She's just trying to fill in all those wrinkles. Oh, yeah? Well, your daughter's so ugly, Woody Allen wouldn't even touch her. <laughs> Sisters, please. Now, now, now. Haven't we suffered enough at the hands of men? We must unshackle ourselves from the vices of the weaker sex. Yes. We must band together and find our true selves. Shawanda, you are so right. I know. This isn't the real me. Mm -hmm. I hate this. Yeah, my name is Larry, but some people like to call me Denzel. Oh. Well, Denzel, ricochet your behind over here. Let me show you how to run the steam press. Look, you ain't got to show me nothing. All you got to do is just give me some time. I can figure all my stuff out. You know, mm -hmm. I'll figure my stuff uh, out. That's cool and everything, but if you mess up, you'll have a lot of time to figure things out because you will be unemployed. So just uh, take the pants and put them here for five seconds and then turn them over. Got that five seconds? Yeah, I got that five seconds. But usually, you know, I like to run my stuff like, just you know. Just do your job, a... okay? <laughs> Welcome to Jefferson's Cleaners. May I help you? How you doing, sweet? Look, I'm in a bit of a hurry. How soon can I get this stuff back? Right now. What are you talking about? The sign outside says you have one hour service. Mm-hmm, that's for one or two garments, not the whole dog old Ebony Fashion Fair. <laughs> what are you doing? I thought I told you to put it in for five seconds. What? Look, look, your machine is broke, girl. I left it in there for five seconds. But you know what? Me, myself, I don't like leaving nothing in for just five seconds. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that you, yourself, and Sybil are very happy in your big old mama head. But uh, we have some work to do, okay? So right now, just stay away from the scene press, okay? All right, I got you. Just whatever. What you want me to do then? Just pay attention for a change. Now... You take the sprayer. I know what to do with the sprayer. Hey, would you, would you just, would you, would, you, would, you, would you just wait till I show you, ooh, you are trapped then. Just spray a small amount on the stain and scrub gently with this brush. Gently. Am I reaching you? Yeah, you reaching me. I got it. Gently. I'll be back to check on you in a minute. Look. I don't know who taught you people how to do laundry, but I just had this dress cleaned, and, and look, now there are two buttons missing. Uh-huh, well, uh, you'll excuse me while I observe your tragic loss with a moment of silence. <laughs> now you look here, Miss Thing. Oh, no, she didn't. Oh, no, she did not go there. She did not call me Miss Thing. Oh, yes, she did. She called you Miss Thing. Do something to her, girl. Now, look. <laughs> now, you better do something about my buttons. Well, I could slap you back into last week when your buttons were still on your dress. I'll never come here again. Oh. What is wrong with you? What? Give, give me that bro. What is what are you? What are you trying to do? Make the whole list as big as the one in your head. You are gonna get in that. Mr. Jefferson, I'm on. Mr. Jefferson. What the hell is going on out here?
ruin his service. Come on, Mr. Jayden. You know she was the one that taught me how to do all that. What? LaShawn, that's coming out of your paycheck. Why come I got to pay for his mistakes? Because you're his supervisor and you're supposed to be supervising him. Well, if I got to take the blame for his mistakes, then I am taking his lunch hour and mine too. I will see you at three. <laughs> you better get back here. If you don't get back here, you're going to find yourself short of a job. Well, you are the authority on short, Mr. Jefferson. You so short, you can be a teller at a piggy bank. <laughs> and you got a mouth like a mini mark. Open 24 hours and nothing good ever comes out of it. Well, I'm just going to go to lunch while you get your mind right. <laughs> well, I guess now you have to train me, Mr. Jefferson. No, -uh, no, you fired. I don't care if you are Weezy's nephew. Weezy! <laughs> Judging by the looks of that jacket, I'd say you are a new beauty consultant. And by the looks of your makeup, I can see that I am needed. <laughs> That's very cute. Um, well, this is your station, and what I'd like for you to do is to start organizing these mascaras in the display case, mm -hmm. all right? And we have an overstock on apricot facial masks, so make sure you push them, okay? Okay. I'll be in the back if you need me. All right. <laughs> I think I need some help. Oh, I'm glad for you. And I'm sure that your analysts will be very pleased that you have made this breakthrough. <laughs> but for right now, why don't you tell me what you need from me so I can go back to this life-enriching task of arranging these mascaras? <laughs> okay, that sounds really good. I just, um, I've never worn makeup before, and I'm just looking for a brand new me. <laughs> Any suggestions? Well, uh, several come to mind, <laughs> but why don't you try these samples, and when you find this new you, why don't you take her out to dinner so you can uh, let me get back to my task? <laughs> Excuse me. I am sure that the Cooties Research Commission has given you complete permission to rub your mouth all over anything and every object you happen to encounter, but this is the company lipstick, not your own personal dental retainer. Tissue anyone? How do I look? <laughs> depends on which circus you would like to join. I mean, I am too sure that Bozo the Clown is out somewhere shaking in his big red boots knowing that you are sneaking in on his territory. <laughs> so, um, unless you are auditioning for the Tammy Faye Baker story, I would lose a few layers. Just you in one. Thank you. I guess I'll just go home now. Excuse me, miss. All the other registers are full. Can you ring this up for me? Well, yes, I can. The question is, will I? The answer is no. <laughs> There's nobody here. This is makeup. This is a makeup counter where makeup is wrong on the register. So unless this is a new form of cotton eyeliner, of which I'm not presently aware, I suggest you take this merchandise back to the department from whence it came. Where is your manager? I like to lodge a complaint. Well, that shows you have a lot of spunk. And I am too sure that when you file your blistering condemnation of my retail skills, our company stock will plummet on the stock exchange, cause a rash of suicide, and trigger global depression. <laughs> but my manager is not here at the moment, so you will have to be content with causing a public nuisance. Oh, wait, you don't have to be so mean. Tissue anymore? Oh. Uh, excuse me, miss. I would like for you to give me a facial mask. I am going to the opera tonight, and I wish to look my best. Oh, well, I'm sure that when the fat lady looks out from the audience and sees your gleaming, wide-open pores, yes. she will be inspired to her greatest performance. But for only $12.99, you can take this apricot mask home and do it yourself. <laughs> No, no, dear, you don't understand. Money is no object. I should like you to apply it. Fine. I am too sure that uh, Donald Trump Ooh. will be very pleased Whoops. to know that you have given me $40 to okay. spread some orange goop all over oh. your face. <laughs> yes, well, oh my. How long should it stay on, then? Uh, oh, about two hours. Two hours? It would, isn't it usually... 15 minutes or so? Yes, that's correct, but unfortunately, this is my lunch hour. What? 
tissues are right over there. Oh. I, miss, miss. You are strong, you are beautiful, you are perfect. Welcome once again to the show by for and about women. Oh, All right. I'm your host, Shawanda Harvey. Many of you have read my book, Eve Stands Alone, in which I celebrate the independence of women. I go one step further with my new book, Adam, Take Back Your Damn Rib. <laughs> right. Our topic for today's show is the always controversial Madonna. Is she helping to empower women, or is she allowing herself to be exploited in a man's world? Please welcome my guest. To my right is Sandra Bernhardt. All right. Sandra, you are strong, you are beautiful, you are perfect. Oh, don't I know it, sister. I am fabulous. <laughs> and to my left is Rosie O'Donnell. Rosie, you are strong, you are strong, you are strong. Thanks, you want it. You too, babe. All right. Well, uh, now, uh, sisters, you both know Madonna. Uh, Madonna and I used to be good friends, you know. But then she dumped me and decided to go slumming. Well, uh, Rosie, you and Madonna were in the movie A League of Their Own. Now, that was a celebration of the equality of women. You bet your perfect little boobies, honey. <laughs> I think it's obvious Madonna is a perfect example of a woman who has done it her way. Okay? Oh, believe me, baby, this slut has done it every way, okay? <laughs> Man, she's done it with men, without men, with women, without women, with men who used to be women, with German shepherds. Okay, okay. okay. The point is, she used men when it suited her and trashed them anytime she felt like well, it. Well, trash is the operative word here, okay? She is trash that will not burn, sister, okay? You'll find out. If she is through with you, she'll dump you like a Chevy Chase talk show. <laughs> Looks like somebody took a little bitter pill this morning. Oh, take uh, your turn, uh, O'Donnell. Oh, no, 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 sister, sister, sister. <laughs> try to keep this from getting personal. Now, in the spirit of sisterhood, let's hear a go on, girl. Go on, girl. Go on, girl. All right. We're talking about Madonna as a role model for other women. Now, it would appear to me at times that uh, she seems to allow herself to be sexually exploited by men. Well, I think he got that backwards. Oh, God, she's done it backwards. She's done it forward. She's done it sideways. She's done it like in a circle. You, you are still pissed because she dumped you for Warren Beatty, okay? Oh, please, I am twice the man Warren Beatty will ever be. <laughs> Maybe he's got something you don't. <laughs> oh, that may be, big girl, but if I don't have it, I can rent it, sister. Oh, well, 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 now, there seems to be no way to keep this discussion from getting personal. The message would seem to be that it is great for a woman to be independent, but there's a fine line between putting men in their place and being a, well, you know, <laughs> I'm Shawanda Harvey. Goodbye and go gone, girl. girl. Listen up, this is how it's gonna be. And this is Mom's Beauty Shop. Our motto is, bring us your head, we'll make it happy, whether you want it straight, curled, or not. Now, my name is LaShawn, I'll be your supervisor. Yeah, well, I don't need no supervision, because, you know, I went to USC, you know, mm -hmm. University of Supercuts. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I don't actually need, I got a degree, so I don't really need no supervision. Mm -hmm. I can just Well, actually, I don't really care, you know, because if I was impressed with degrees, I'd be dating a thermometer or something. Uh, hello? I've been waiting here for 20 minutes. Oh, oh, uh, well, that's cool and everything, and I'm sure that somewhere in London, Big Ben is shedding a tear just for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, what you need to do right now is just read the magazine and relax. This magazine is 20 years old. Oh, well, lucky for you, you probably find a picture of that dress you have on in there. <laughs> uh, what did you say your name was? Slade the Blade to cut them funky braids. Oh, uh, no, I don't think so. You don't touch my hair, okay? That's rule number one and two. All right, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with let's, you? Let's just, just come back what here with me and be quiet. <laughs> okay, now this is not a space alien. It's a woman sitting up under the dryer. Right. Now what I want you to do is set the control on medium for five minutes, then take her out and curl her hair, okay? Any of that you didn't get. Well, what I didn't get is how come me and you don't get together, understand, yo, mm -hmm. yo? <laughs> because I don't want to get what you probably got. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And when you finish that, go and put a tent in on Mrs. Smith's hair. What you need a tent for? Her head going camping? <laughs> uh, welcome to Mom's Beauty Shop. May I help you? 
I don't know. Uh, my boyfriend says I should dye my hair. Mm -hmm. I, I wanted to get curls, but mm -hmm. my boyfriend says I should probably leave it straight. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't really know what I should do. Mm -hmm. Well, I know exactly what you should do. You should probably get your boyfriend to comb your hair. Go on somewhere. <laughs> yeah, girl, understand what I'm saying? Take you back to the crib, throw some Sly and the Family Stones, girl, so you can tease me that I comb you with that hot comb crown royal greaser. Slay. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sure that Chuck Willard won't mind me breaking up your little love connection. But what are you doing? What I'm trying to do is meet some nice people and get more acquainted to the people in this staff. That's what I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure we can plan a little meet and greet function for you later, you know. But right now, while you got so much time on your hands, why don't you pick up a rag and clean up around here or something? <laughs> You are mad, the mouthy manicures. I suggest you get back to work before you soaking in it. Okay. Oh, I know you did. I know. Do you wipe up the floor with your grandmother's wig? Don't answer that. This wig costs five hundred dollars. Well, I'm just doing what you told me to do. I'm trying to clean up some stuff. Why come you didn't tell me that B O five was your I Q? Never mind. I guess you're going as a bride of Frankenstein. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud, won't someone please finish me off? Uh, well, if you excuse me, Mr. Absent-Minded hairdresser. Wait a minute, who are you calling this? Absent-Minded. Well, pardon me. I was unaware that you turned down a full scholarship to Harvard so you could go to beauty school and ultimately work your way up into the spotlight here at Mom's Beauty Shop. Come on here. Did you put the henna in her hair? Yeah, I put the henna Barbera in there, and it's gonna look good as soon as it come up out. <laughs> mm-hmm. Your confidence is very impressive. Let's just see that it works, okay? Hmm. Oh. 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 oh! You got my hair! Huh? Oh. oh, my bad. <laughs> what did you do? Rinse her hair with 3,000 flushes. Well, I said I wanted a movie star. Before you go to home, uh, uh, let me put you in touch with the refund department. Go on somewhere. I don't believe it. Uh, Grandma. Uh. What do you want, you old heathens? You got a problem, you fish-eyed fool. Uh, yes, thank you. Look what he did to me. Huh? Quite an improvement. <laughs> Your hair matches those veins in your legs. <laughs> Listen, I demand satisfaction. Hey, look, lady, you don't tell us what we need to do, understand? Because we run this. You better watch it, sucker. <laughs> you fired. Come on, honey, we're going to be late. What do you, you can't leave me like this. The hell we can't. We got an appointment with the hairdresser. Uh -huh. <laughs> You'll just bear with us. We'll give you the best service we can. Thank you. Hey,